In your opinion, why is the third highest death rate in America due to medical errors? So that's a very important and a very complex question. Uh, but I think there's a number of reasons that if we understood, we could actually help with it. First of all, science is imprecise. It's an art. Uh, doing good science needs to be applied to medicine, and it, is, it doesn't always occur. Uh, for example, uh, we used to give antiarrhythmics to everybody that thought uh, we thought was having a heart attack until we figured out it was harming them. We used to give hormone replacement therapy to every woman. Uh, when they went into menopause until we figured out, in some cases, it wasn't doing them any good. It was actually uh, killing some of them. Um, that's one reason. Science is imprecise. We need better evidence. Uh, we need to bring that into medicine. But there's other reasons, too. Another one is that we have a very complex delivery system that doesn't always coordinate with each other. It doesn't always check whether it's being delivered in a safe and effective way, even when we know how it should be delivered in a safe and effective way. So we need better systems that improve the quality and improve the safety of care. Uh, there's a medical organization called the Institute for Healthcare Improvement that works on that and has identified best practices for improving safety in healthcare. That needs to become widespread. And then I think the third reason, or the third thing that could help reduce medical errors and is uh, doing less pharmacological and invasive types of procedures. And this is where good evidence-based complementary medicine and lifestyle approaches come in in integrative health. If we did things that were just inherently safer, like just changing your diet or using yoga or mind, body, and stress management instead of drugs, that would also reduce the amount of errors that are made in medicine. So I think those are some of the main reasons uh, that, uh, that both are why it occurs and how we can improve.